Hello again, this is Max Dobbins from the Jackie Toplitsky team of Credential Douglas Elman, and we are recording the second episode of the Max Report from the legendary Bull and Bear at the Waldorf Astoria. So we're going to talk a little bit about Wall Street here, but uh, before we go into that, I did want to talk about what's happening uh, with the banks. And apparently the banks have stopped taking a inordinate amount of stupid pills, and they're becoming a little bit more normal with their lending practices. They're not uh, going crazy with draconian requirements anymore. It's a much better scenario for a lender. I think they figured out that they need to lend money in order to make money, and they figured out a, kind of a procedure about how to deal with buildings in New York, which is really refreshing for, uh, for those who are buying. One of the things that we've been using uh, to help people get mortgages are private banks. So you basically go to a private bank and they will give you a loan, but they don't have to play by the Fannie and Freddie guidelines. So what that means is that the processing time is almost cut in half. Uh, and they can also be a little bit more flexible uh, than the regular banks, which is also a nice, uh, a nice thing to have in our arsenal. So if you have any questions on that, I'll be happy to talk to you about that offline. Uh, with regard to the market, what's going on in the market right now? Basically, it's, uh, it's Econ 101 again, supply and demand. We have a lo lower supply than what we had before, and we have a, uh, a slightly increased demand, both on the sales side and the rental side. Um, you know, I'm, I'm working with somebody on the west side who's looking at three-bedroom apartments. There are literally 10 or 11 apartments that fit, meet their criteria. And th that's what we have to choose from. So it's a very thin pool of, of, of apartments to look at, and that makes the uh, the buying decision take a little bit less time than before. On the rental side, very very little inventory, especially in the larger markets. Just rented something in the East 80s for 8,300 bucks a month, and uh, that went in seven days. So lots of pressure on the market right now, and less supply than normal. Uh, we're negotiating four offers right now on various apartments that we have. So there is activity out there, and again, that's that's great that things are moving again. Um, they're not going over ask by any means, but they're still we're still getting offers. Some of the statistics I wanted to talk about here a little bit: um, the average sales price compared to fourth quarter 09 to fourth quarter 2010 for condos increased 9.3 percent. Okay. That's not a big increase for condos, considering what a train wreck the fourth quarter of 09 was. Um, the interesting f fact is that the co-ops went up 23.1%, and that's a huge, huge increase in, in prices uh, in one year. So that, again, says that there's a, the developers on the condo side are, are overpricing things and negotiating a lot, while as co-ops, co with their liquidity requirements and, and boards, are really holding their value a little bit better than they normally do. Uh, but the, one of the most interesting stats is the days on the market. Uh, fourth quarter 09, the days on the market were 204 days by average, which is 6.8 months. Long time. Uh, now what we're seeing in the, in the fourth quarter of 2010, what we saw was 125 days, a little over four months. So you know, there's not a lot of inventory out there for people to see. The negotiation discount is a little bit less, and the market is moving, and it's moving in a, in a good direction. So uh, things have improved, and we're very, very happy to hear that. So with that, I will wish you a good day, and stay thirsty for real estate, my friends.